Hey guys, it's Carl here, and I thought I'd do a video explaining, um, well, answering a lot of questions that I, I get about this particular guitar. So this is the guitar that you've probably seen the most over the years in my videos. Uh, uh, a lot of people are, is this a custom shop strat? Is it a, or whatever. So I'm going to answer all the questions and I'm going to talk about the custom work that I've actually had done to it. I've had the guitar for now 10 years um, and um, maybe to give you some ideas of some you might, if you're having particular things about your guitar that you don't, you think are holding you back, uh, ways that you can customize it uh, to kind of suit your needs. Um, now it's not a custom shop strat. It is an Eric Johnson signature model. I know a lot of you guys know that. Um, and it has been my main guitar now for about 10 years. Um, I, and let me tell you, we'll kind of go through and I'll show you what I've done to it over the years. All right, now the reason I originally got the guitar uh, was this body uh, is really deeply contoured. Um, it's really, really comfortable. It's got, it's got, you know, these days it's got a lot of wear and I've, it's been banged around a few times. Uh, I don't want to make the camera go out of focus here, but uh, so it's, it's, it's had its fair share of uh, hard times, but um, the body is the most comfortable Strat I've ever played. Now I played other Strats and they have the cutaways, but this is really, really deeply contoured. So it was really comfortable to me. And at the time, uh, the fretboard, um, the, the uh, Eric Johnson Strat came with, um, a 12 inch radius fretboard now if you, you guys don't know what the radius means it means how flat the fretboard is and the higher the number radius number the flatter the board is now uh, strats generally come with like a nine and a half radius or so um, you know so it, it means that there's a lot more curve to the fretboard which means it's comfortable to play like bar chords with um, but it doesn't really allow you to get the action very low on the guitar since the, it's curved. Um, and w the flatter the board, the generally the easier it is to do any kind of like fast lead stuff. Uh, so the flatter the fretboard. So the Eric Johnson Strat already came with pretty much at the time, I don't know if it's still the case, the flattest um, fretboard. Uh, of any production model besides I think the Steve Ray Vaughn model also had a 12 inch radius so it's pretty it's really flat for a Strat so it made that very comfortable as well um, so I liked the body style and, uh, and I liked the uh, the flatter fretboard over the years I've I made a lot of customization with it including flattening the fretboard even more so the little things that I wanted to tweak with the guitar and I did over the years I'll start down here one was I changed out the vintage saddles and went with these graft, I think they're graft tech uh, kind of graphite saddles. Um, that changes the tone a little bit, makes it sound a little bit more mellow, but it also keeps me from breaking strings, which I would do a lot with the older saddles, uh, especially when I was playing live in the Vegas shows. I, I was breaking strings so much, so I changed out to these saddles and it. I liked what it did. It kind of took down some of the high end of the tone. It didn't make the guitar sound so bright. It kind of, and, and it also kept me from breaking strings as much. So I use these, um, I believe they're called Graph Tech uh, tuners. Uh, I mean, um, saddles. And then I went and I changed out, you know, I would change out the volume pots over time. I like like a very smooth tapered volume pot, but I like it to have a little bit of friction to it. Um, because if it's too, if I'm running around on stage or whatever, if it's too light, literally any kind of thing to hit it, it'll turn the volume off or the same thing with the tone. So I change out higher friction ones. So, um, they stay in place better. Now the pickups are the big deal here. Um, I've changed to a, to a couple different pickups, usually all these DiMarzios. Um, I like a hot rotted Strat. I love the sound of humbucking guitars. Um, I uh, just, but I, I liked the way this guitar felt. So people like sacrilege, throw humbuckers in a Strat, but I didn't do any routing. I didn't go into the, but I just put these like single coil space humbuckers here. This is a, a DiMarzio Fast Track 2. It's pretty much one of the hottest pickups that they make, like the most powerful. Um, and then I have um, a Fast Track 1 here and then a chopper here in the neck. All right. So now that work was done the most recent work 
here was done with these pickups and the, the setup that I had by a guy up here in Ventura, California named Tracy Longo. He's like a legend in Ventura County. I mean, he's incredible, incredible, incredible guitar uh, repair guy, restores a lot of vintage instruments. I believe he's getting out of the guitar uh, setup uh, game and just doing re restorations, which is, you know, a bummer for me, but uh, um, he's just incredible. But he's like a, a months long waiting list. Uh, so now the other custom work that I had done, I had the neck flattened even more. So I went down to a 12 inch, uh, from a 12 inch to a 14 inch radius. So that flattens the fretboard considerably. Um, while he did that, um, this work, that work was done by a guy named Neil Smith. Um, Nielsen Smith Guitars out in uh, Las Vegas. Once again, an incredible craftsman. I think he's gone away from doing the setup work too much and he just makes his own guitars now. Uh, Neil Smith Guitars in Vegas. They look like great guitars too. Um, the, I, I, just, I follow him on Facebook, so that's how I know this, but uh, he did this for me. Um, uh, I was doing a lot of shows, so he, let me get this done very fast for me, which, you know, he has a months long waiting list as well too. So I was very thankful. What he did is he flattened it out to a 14 inch and he took off the nitro finish that was on the fretboard and the back. And he changed out to a tongue oil finish uh, on it. So it makes the neck feel a lot more natural. Um, I, I know I've I had people email me, he goes, Meyer Johnson Strat has all this, you know, uh, uh, finish on the neck that I don't like. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of it either. I had it on there for quite a while. Um, and then finally I just got rid of it. Um, when he did the kind of adjusted, you know, kind of, you know, flattened the board a little bit, he took the whole finish off and then just nice tongue oil finish. So it feels, feels great now. And he also, because I was on my third refret, um, he put in stainless steel frets, a little bit taller than originally came on. These are probably could be considered like jumbo frets and stainless steel. So that once again, um, keeps the, the nice smooth feel to it as well. And I don't need to, you know, refret every two years, which I was doing before because I was playing a lot on stage and, um, doing the lessons and stuff. So I was just chewing through frets. So I, I wanted to stop doing that. So he refretted it with uh, stainless steels and I haven't had to have a refret since. So, um, that's been about uh, four or five years ago. Um, uh, let me see. Do I have any other custom work on this puppy? Um, oh, he also put a, a buzz feet and tuning system at one time, which I've since, you know, because I'm not really good at using it. I just uh, went back to like a normal nut um, uh, that had installed by uh, another luthier. So anyway, that's the work that I've pretty much done on the guitar. I don't... Uh, people, you know, it's almost like a custom shop Strat now, uh, but it did begin life as an Eric Johnson Strat. Um, yeah, and it's, it's like the favorite Strat that I've ever played. So um, I don't like saying I'm going to only play this guitar the rest of You never know, but uh, I'll always have it because it's, it's really, I've got a, a, a big history with this guitar. Um, and like I said, it's, it's still the one that's just the most comfortable for me. Um, and by having those pickups in there. I can really get lots of sustain and just make it scream and, you know, um, have like the best of both worlds, have like a flatter neck and, and a really contoured body and, and, and everything is just really cool. Plus I like the look of the sunburst too. And it's really cool when the stuff starts kind of, uh, you know, the paint just starts getting worn off and stuff. Uh, a natural relic, not, a I'm going to go buy a guitar that's been beat up for 40 years or looked like it. Uh, I'll do it myself. It means a lot more. But anyway, so that's the story on my Strat. Um, and uh, it's definitely uh, kind of uh, the most important guitar to me, really, uh, at this point, at least. Uh, and I hope maybe some of the things that I've done will give you ideas of things that you can uh, do with your own guitar to kind of, uh, if, if you don't like the pickups, change them out. If you don't like the... Uh, fretboard or, the, or the, the gloss on the neck, take it off, you know, it, it's all doable. There's a lot of great techs out there uh, that can do it for you. All right, 
I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.